Welcome back guys, it's Vidic here and it's snowing here on Dreamscape and that is because it's Christmas time and with that comes a Christmas event with some great rewards. There is a Christmas quest, some new NPCs to kill for some overpowered exclusive gear, a tough world boss that spawns throughout the day, and one of the most overpowered event mboxes I have ever seen. Now we've got 20 of these bad boys, but two of them are for you guys. And when I said that they're OP, I really meant that you get 9 different rewards from each box that you open. Near the bottom you can see you get a Christmas coupon, which is a random chance at a rare cosmetic reward. You also get one random piece of gear, which can be some of the best items in the entire game, and a random box which is the same idea, some of these boxes are extremely rare and expensive because of how good the items in them are. But like I said, we're giving two of these away, so we're going to have two winners, one Christmas box each. All you got to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Dreamscape in-game name down below. Now we're definitely going to be opening all of these up, but first I'm going to give you a quick rundown tutorial of the event. Not going to waste any time, I'll walk you through it so you know exactly how to finish it. And we're going to keep an eye out on the notification area right here because it will tell you when the world boss spawns. You're definitely going to want to get in there because you can actually get these boxes from him. Alright, so to begin the event, you're going to want to come home and talk to the snowman with his real world traded bot armor. Christmas is here, yeah it is. And he's going to give you a scroll of Kribma. You're going to go ahead and read that and it'll take you to the first area. And Santa is going to give you your first task of the quest. He wants you to kill 75 evil elves. It's as simple as that, it'll count how many elves you've killed right down here in the chat box and they actually have some very strong drops, the new Evil Elf Armor and Crystal Halberd. Now the drop rates are pretty rare, but you can kill these guys as much as you want and get this exclusive gear before the event ends and they disappear. So obviously we're still sporting our nutty gear from our last video, which is the best setup in the entire game. If you haven't checked out that video yet, I highly recommend it. I will post a link to it in the description, but let's let's get to work here. Jeez, this setup is just too nuts. I especially love how they explode after you kill them. Yeah, there you go. They explode, and I get off. And we are just about finished here. That was the last elf, there we go. Now you're gonna return to Santa, but you can continue killing these guys if you want. Like I said, they drop some really nice gear that's exclusive to this event, and they will disappear once the event is over. Alright Santa, talk to me baby, what's next? Oh, we got ourselves a snow bazooka. Take this snow bazooka and collect 50 starlight from the Christmas Rangers. So these are just up north past these guys. Now I've set my Emperor's Necklace to loot to my inventory instead of my bank. You can do the same with the Collector's Necklace so you can keep track of how many you have. So put on your bazooka and start getting some snow. You're going to have to load this baby up with some snowballs in order to kill these snow rangers. Alright, let's see what this thing can do. Get that ass over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is like a fucking one-shot bazooka. 250 million damage, that's fine. You're going to want to collect these Starlights of Christmas because we need to get 50 of them to make Santa happy. By the way, you also get to keep this bazooka even after the event ends, but keep in mind, it will not be doing 250 million damage to everything like it is now. There we go, 50 Starlights of Christmas. Let's return to Santa and move on to the next step, which gets a bit trickier. He's going to give you a Christmas clue scroll, and now you have some riddles to solve. Now I'm going to try to use my RuneScape knowledge and figure these out on my own, and honestly, reading them right now, I feel like I know them already. Once in a blue moon, we have a glass of beer. I am quite sure that that is the bar in Varrock. Uh, it's not the one up near the wilderness. I think it's the one down here. Let's see. Skill cape shop, huh? This is a weird place to have a skill cape shop. Oh, there it is. Present number one, baby. Give me that. Hell yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take two. I'm greedy. All right, what's the next one? City of Magic. Three cages to pick. That has to be Yanil, right? Yanil is the city where the Magic Guild is, and there- Oh, there's the cages. Easy peasy. Present number one, present number two, and present number three. Hope the Restless Ghosts have a wonderful Christmas. Nice grammar. This one is probably the easiest. This has got to be in Lumbridge, where you do the Restless Ghost quest, the little graveyard next to the church. Hey, there it is. Guys, my RuneScape knowledge is just so great. If only I had knowledge of real useful things in life. 
Great, so we collected all three presents. I got a couple extra ones for myself. And now let's go back and turn into Santa Claus. Where? Wait, where are your feet, Santa Claus? Jesus Christ. You just got a couple nubs. Fair enough. And we got ourselves a Christmas present. And we got some scavenger XP as well. 100,000, not bad. And thank you so much for my present, Mr. Santa. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we get a snowman setup. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what's going on with right there. Looks like I'm a little excited. Now I just got like a half chub. Fair enough. Oh shit, here he is, Mr. Santa Claus. Dude, how much health is that? Jesus Christ. 25 000 000 250 million? Am I looking at that right? We've got the best setup in the game, so I'm thinking we're probably going to be one of the top 10 damage dealers. Alright, he's going down slowly, but surely. We've also got our shadow pet, so we got a soul split effect. Even if it hits us a little bit, we should not die here without food. So many people here though, look at that, look at the mini-map. I think only the top 10 people get drops, or maybe it's just the top 10 get better drops. Because, I kinda feel bad if all the little newbies weren't able to get anything. Almost done here, 30 mil left. He's taking, Santa's taking a beating. And let's see what we get. Ooh, acidic Santa hat, okay cool. Not bad. Uh, a mil DS coins. Let's see how this bad boy looks, that's pretty neat. Now, I don't think I can actually see his drops, uh, all the different stuff he drops. I think it's a lot of cosmetics. I know you can also get the 2019 Christmas mystery boxes, but I'm happy with my little green Santa hat. It looks nice. All right, it's time to open these bad boys up. I've got 18 to open, two for you guys, which I should store in the bank. Now, like I said, they give you nine rewards each and a random mystery box, random piece of gear, random cosmetic. Let's see what we get. There we go. So you always get a Christmas cracker, which is nice. You get a certain amount of DS coins, I think 20 to 40 mil. One random dream potion. We got a dream strength. A grand lottery book. A donation point book. 15 to 75 code keys. We got pretty lucky on this one. This is the Christmas coupon for a random cosmetic. Oh shit, we got the BFG goodie box. Damn, on the first one. Dude, okay, if you guys get this, the BFG is one of the best weapons in the game. So I got really lucky with that because you can get normal boxes. A little bit less important, tactical and wealth and stuff like that. And then we got ourselves a little Necromancer Jr. This is a decent little pet. It's got soul split effect on it and a 5% drop rate bonus. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, sh damn. You look pretty sick. You look sicker than me. All right, I can't be having that. Let's read the Grand Lottery book. We get 50 Grand Lottery points. Let's see how many donation points we get. I'm thinking maybe it's the same each time. 50 and 10, that would make sense. Alright, so we got the Christmas raffle ticket. Let's open up, see what we get from this. DS coins. Okay, so you get you can get money from this. I think it's a chance at getting a cosmetic reward, but here we go. The BFG goodie box. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Okay, so select the number, click claim on prize. Uh this one. Fuck. Alright, we'll have to open this bad boy up. Godsend level one. Alright, thank you. We got 17 more of these though. Let's continue. We'll just keep claiming these books. Keep claiming the raffle tickets until we get a cosmetic. We've got an M4A4 Asimov. That's pretty good. Ultra mystery box. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So what I'm going to do is open up all of these and then I'm going to save all of the boxes and the pieces of gear so we can look at it. You know, you get a Christmas cracker each time and stuff. It's the same thing. We just got the infinity gauntlet from it. Oh my Lord. Are you serious? That is the third one we've opened. Jesus Christ. And that is the best weapon in the game. I'll take it. It does come uncharged, though. You gotta put the power stones into it to make it better, but that's still an amazing item. All right, so far, pretty good. So I've got half of them open right now. Let's open up the rest of our boxes. We also got two crystal set boxes. Not bad. Very nice, very nice. We got a warfare box. Would you like to? Yes, I would, obviously. Prod cape goodie box. Let's see here. All right. What number? I'm gonna just go eight every time. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Another pair of Infinity Gauntlets. Dream Mystery Box American Party Hat. Ice Glaive Goodie Box. Let's see what we get. A little unlucky. Now, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in the bank so we make some space. Two Infinity Gauntlets so far, though. And the rest of our Christmas raffle tickets. Oh, oh, oh. So, we mainly just get money from those. We'll see if we get any, uh, any rares from that. Another pair of Infinity Gauntlets. Jesus Christ. Another pair? Are you serious? How common are these from these boxes? 
Oh, we got a 2K19 box. I think that might be the rarest one we can actually get from this. Not bad. We got our last one right here. Bada bing, bada boom. All done. Let's save this 2K19 box for last. Let's open up the rest of these. Dream mystery box. Black and white party hat. Ultra. God damn it. Tactical box. A couple boxes of wealth. Prod cape goodie bag. We'll do eight again. Oh, well, that's not that bad for this box. And last but not least, the 2K19 box. Let's see what we get from this. Fifth oh shit. 15 free inventory spaces. It's not going to give us 15 items, but let's see what we get. Oh, wait. It did kind of. Alright, golden minigun, scratch card, gimme gimme, warfare box, warfare box, dream box, and then we got a pet mystery box as well, Pikachu. And then a few more of these raffle tickets, I'm guessing, oh, hey, we got it, there we go, nice, what is that, purple mist, purple mist chicken legs, that is our first cosmetic we received, oh, that's kinda cool, see if we get any more cosmetics, nope, they are pretty rare, now of course we got two more, but these are for you guys, but alright guys, that is going to do it for today's video on the Dreamscape Christmas event. I definitely recommend hopping on and checking it out, and if you can get your hands on some of these Christmas boxes, you are pretty much guaranteed to get some good stuff. And of course, enter the giveaway for your chance to win one of your own. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Dreamscape, link will be right at the top of the description. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos. And have a nice day.